Hello, my crafty friends. Hope everyone's having a very nice day. Um, I just got back from my doctor's office visit, and um, you know how Linda is. When she goes to the doctor, she's got to see, go to the thrift store, and I decided I wanted to, I was going to go to Dollar Tree, but I hadn't been feeling good, and uh, the doctor decided to check my heart out today, because I had been telling him about the rapid heartbeat I'd been getting, and just the weird feelings that I've been having. And the popping out in sweats, and he was really concerned about it. So he did a he 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 used to he specialized in cardiology, which I'm very fortunate. I saved myself from having to see a cardiologist for this. So he did an echocardiogram, an EKG, and he took labs from me. And the heart looks fine, but we have the rapid heart rate. And we just don't know why it's so rapid. So. Um, we're thinking, you know, the same thing that the thyroid. There's the it's the medication's just not agreeing with me. And he said there's could be one of two things. And he said, either they left a little bit of thyroid that didn't quite die. So I've got a little piece of thyroid in me that's acting overactive, and it's just going stir crazy because the medicine that I'm on is not agreeing with my um with, with the thyroid. You know, it's just not working out right. Or, um, the medicine it itself is just not agreeing with me. I need to uh, have my medicine changed. Either the medicine's too low or it's too high. So, we got to figure out which one it is so we can get the meds changed. You know, here I've got an endocrinologist that did not want, has not even offered to see me. Knowing I told, called and told him I had problems and to wait until my visit... And, you know, well, uh, go, have her go to the labs in 30 days and tell her I'll see her on the next visit, is what he said. So it makes me feel like he don't give a flying rat's butt, you know, about his patients. So it kind of um, has me worried about him. I hope I don't have problems with the doctor. If I do, he's the only endocrinologist that is located in my area within a 50 miles. And if I end up having problems with him... I'm going to probably end up having to go either Greenville, North Carolina, or Raleigh. And there's a 10 endocrinologist in uh, Greenville, and then there's like 16, I think, in Raleigh. So I've got 26 doctors that I can pick out, but they're like over 50 miles away. And I just don't know what to do. I mean, I can't drive that far, and my husband, I guess, is going to have to take off and... Um, Start driving me to some of these places, I guess, for especially the end. I can't drive that far with my back to be in way it is. But anyway, I was thinking about going to Dollar Tree, and then I said, you know, I think I'll go to Tuesday morning. So I have a Tuesday morning haul here. I have an online order haul that I just did that came in the mail today when I got home. And of all places, I said I was not going to go to the thrift store anymore. And what did I do? I went to the thrift store. So, I found a, two sets, um, two suitcases that look just like this. Really, really immaculate looking. Um, they look like leather, and they are in really good condition, like pr pretty much so mint. Even the inside is very clean, no stain, odory smells to it, and I paid $4 for one and $3 for the other one. I store my yarns in these. I put them in Ziploc bags, and I put the yarn in. And then the bottom of one of my closets, which I've got like a 13-foot closet, and that's two feet, uh, was it two feet? No, two and a half feet long, wide, and no, yeah, wide, and 13 feet long. So I put the suitcases down on the bottom of the uh, floor, and that's how I store my yarn. And each yarn, each suitcase has like, one suitcase has baby yarn, one suitcase has wool yarn, one suitcase has this type of yarn, that type of yarn. And I try to keep it that way where it's, it's nice and tidy and I can just walk into the closet, pull out the suitcase of which one I know has got that kind of uh, yarn in it, and I play with my yarn every once in a while. And then I found this pillow and I paid $1.50 for it. It's uh, velvet and it's got the um, little beads on it, beaded trim. But I don't. I didn't buy it for the the color or any anything like that. I bought it for the size. It it's in mint condition. Doesn't look like it's been used. Probably used for looks. 
But the thing about it, I've got a pillow form that I bought uh, brand new from the thrift store that's got like the Indian patterns and stuff on it and seeds and beads and sequins. So I bought it to, to use uh, this as the, uh, to put it in that cover, the pillow cover. So I found that. And then I found this nightgown for $1.50. And it is brand new. It's never been worn. You can tell by the condition of it. The lace. The lace looks like really great. Let me see if I can put pull it up there. As you can see, and see all the ribbon. The ribbon's in mint condition. The lace. It's a long gown. Um, it was three dollars. So I have a gown for the for next spring to wear. And you know, I, I get these gowns sometimes if they're new like that. I'll wash them and then I'll put them in my um, night night clothes. I've got a like a own, my own little area for night my night, night clothes, winter and summer. And uh, if I'm, I go in the hospital or something, I've got nice gowns. I don't have to worry about going out and buying gowns and all, like you know, for hospital stays. And if I'm sick, you know, and somebody's going to be coming over or whatever. I kind of want to look neat, and I found this yellow one, and the yellow one is uh, a long one too. Very well, very very well made. The the fabric is real soft and it's kind of a silky feel, but it's actually cotton. But uh, three dollars for that, so six dollars for two gowns, and seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen dollars I spent right there. Then I found this sweater. I happened to walk by, and it was a sweater, but it's, it's just the front part. It's like a tank top sweater, but it's got crochet doilies, and they're yellow. But anyway, I like the yellow doilies. I thought they were pretty, and I can slice that up and uh, use that for crafting. And I was so tickled because when I spotted this, I have always wanted one, and today... I got one and didn't have to pay but five dollars for it and I was like hot dog I found they had a badge a minute um, it came in a box like this I hope uh, you guys can see and uh, let me see if I can tilt it it's got the machine it's a little plastic gadget I don't, I'm gonna have to probably find the paper it's got the little paper here with just one of these little printouts. And it's got the uh, front and the back and the la the little um, laminated pieces or what do you or whatever you call them. Those clear pieces. But it's got the front, front and the back, the brooch things. Whole box full. So I was tickled. I'm going to have to go through it though. I want to sort it out and kind of like organize it a little bit better so I, can, I know what I've got of each. But it says secretary's badges. I'm like, so must I don't know who gave it away, but for five dollars, I was tickled to get this machine. So that was a deal. And then uh, I just hope the the badge thing works. If it don't work, I've got the badges, so I can always throw them on eBay. Then somebody um, sewed seven small pillow forms. I don't know why if they were making baby pillows or if they were. I just, I just don't know. Like I said, there there's seven of them. They're not stuffed yet, but they've sewn together like this. And they were for a dollar. And I figured, well, shoot, since they're already sewn together, I can make my lace books, a couple lace books with it. So that was a deal. And then I found this for three dollars. A whole entire um, bag of ribbon. Another bag of ribbon. One is uh one one roll. I have to take it out. Let's see, I might. I don't know if I can get it in, into it. This may be a long video because I do have a uh, a Tuesday morning haul and then I have my online haul. But I didn't really buy a whole lot of Tuesday morning. But it's really funny because I've been in the bead mode and and jewelry mode and stuff like this. And I go to my thrift store instead of finding lace. I find beads and, you know, um, the badge a minute, you know, stuff. And I'm like, oh, all right, good other toys. But I always, if I find ribbon, a good ribbon deal, 
you know I'm gonna grab it. And this this here, let me see if it you could see me. Yeah. It's uh this is a 300. No, this is a 500 yard of navy. It looks like navy. I think it is navy. It's either let's see. Yeah, it's navy. But anyway, it's about 3 to 500 yards of on a spool, so that that was really a good deal, and because uh, I do yeah, do use navy quite a bit, and then there's some like little mint green, that's thirty yards. There's some pink, and I don't know how many yards is on that one. Then there's like a some white, some more white, and then there's this uh, kind of like a pale lavender color. And that's a hundred yards, so I got a good deal on that. I paid three dollars, so three dollars for all that uh, ribbon. That was that was a good deal. Then um, for two dollars, I found uh, the buttoneer, the five second button attacher by Denison. It's apparently still in the uh, the thing here, in the in the uh, cardboard, and it comes out, and there's the little buttoneer that I need so I was like I try it out so I found some little tools crafting tools that I could use um, for two dollars I found this, uh, four of these adorable felt stitching ornaments and then there's the teddy bear, the doggy, the gingerbread man, a uh, hobby horse uh, there's a dove, heart, a stocking and a house and then there's the, um, I don't know if it's a, uh, the mitten, the candy cane, stocking. It's like four, eight, twelve, sixteen different kinds of ornaments. But when I went open one up, it's already drawn onto the felt. So what I technically to use so I can use the same pattern over and over and over again, I can actually make photocopies of the patterns cut the patterns out with my, you know, some felt that I have, and I can make these without having to go out and buy anymore. So, there's this one here, and uh, that one's okay. It's got the joy of the stocking, the star, and the sleigh. I don't like the color of the sleigh. You can always change the color. And, um, they were originally $1.97, and they were from Walmart. So, um, that's that one. So, I guess for... Two dollars, I got a good deal on them, I, re I reckon. And there's that one. And then, um, I'm trying to hold these away as far away from the thing so you could see better. And then that's that one. This one's my favorite, because it's got the little doggy and the teddy bear, gingerbread man and the hobby horse, so I thought they were cute. Something I could play with. Um, so I got found that. And I don't know if this is Barbara's stuff, mother's stuff, steel or yet or not. It might be a mixture. But um, she did say her mother was a mess when it, come, it came to crafting. She had all kinds of stuff. So she, it might still be her mother's. Um, I found for 50 cents uh, five little baskets. So they are really cute. Um, they'll, they'll be cute for like this, um, for the pumpkin, uh, the Halloween treats or something that I could do something with. So that's, I got those. Cute little baskets and they're hand painted with a little house on them. So I, that was for 50 cents. Then for three dollars there was this bucket of Perlier, um, it's holiday cheer, Perlier buttons. It's supposed to be 4,000 beads and I'm pretty sure there's some missing, probably half missing now. And it's got the uh, ornaments already that you you put the ornaments and then you glue the sequins on. So it looks like it's the kit because there's still stuff. The, there's like inside there's still ornaments there. So um, that was three dollars. I've never done that earlier. So I might try it just to see what it's like. See how fun it is. Yeah, you know, get my mind off of you know shabby chic crafting all the time. Sometimes you want to do something a little different. This one here, this was one that I didn't like the price that I paid. It's saying $4 on it, and then it's saying $2 on it. So I don't know if um, if it was mischarged or not. But I like the ornament, and I it's, and it's like I said, these also have um, the uh, 
pattern drawn already on it. So all I got to do is like cut, but make photocopies and have patterns for later on. And it's the little snowmen, and I think they're so cute. And that's what it looks like. And um, so I don't know if I paid four or two because there's a four dollar sticker on there is a two dollar sticker. And then there was this one here. Now this one here, same kind of almost the same as the first package. But I paid three dollars for it, so I, this is one I was a little disgruntled about. I paid three dollars for it, and but I got four packages of stuff. So there was these two uh, needlepoint kits, the seasonings, greetings from our house to yours, and that's what that looks like right there. Um, I will probably do something different with them because I, I, I'm not really into the needlepointing or cross stitch. I used to be, but I just don't really. It's boring to me. But that's cute. I thought that was cute. The little Santa Claus. This one here is adorable. I love that one. That is my favorite one of all. And I don't even have to use the red felt. If I don't want to use the red felt, I could probably use maybe some gold, some you know, colored fabric or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I found that. That's that, that kit there. And uh, for three to two dollars I found this big package of purple um, purple mesh type of wire ribbon like this right here and that's that's pretty cool and um, it's a lot of it so two dollars so that to me I thought was a deal um, then there was this here, I don't know if it's the whole kit or not. It was three dollars. I gotta go through it. I think it's a stud stud machine. It does have some parts in here, and it's got the um, like this here. It's got a, a handle in here and some plastic gadgets, and it's got studs, rhinestone studs, and brads and stuff. So. That was three dollars. I thought that would be a good deal. It's thirty pieces in each pack. Uh, Forty silver, fifteen pieces, thirty pieces, twenty pieces. So whatever it is, um, it's a stud machine. It's a hand hand type stud machine. I hope it is there all together where it's not missing anything. If it's not missing anything, then I'll have a stud machine that I got for pretty cheap. So that's good. Then I found uh, these wood beads. These are the multicolored gold and peach and um, greens, blues, but they're wood beads. And uh, I just not too long ago made an order and I actually ordered some wood beads from another site. They're kind of the natural tone. And, uh, but the ones, they're, they're smaller. So, but anyway, these were two dollars, and that was not a bad deal because I know what I paid for, and it's pretty much so the full package. So that was a good deal, and I can't remember what they wanted, um, what I paid for for that other package I ordered. But then they had a natural bag of beads. Um, some are hand painted on them, or pl or look plastic or something. I don't know. Looks like plastic. No, that's wood. So anyway, there's some wood beads that are painted on here, and then there's like round wood beads. And I, I don't know, I'm just going bead crazy here. Like, and that was $2, and that's what that looked like. And that's about the price of the beads. Um, the, so I am getting a little bit of a deal getting these at the thrift store. Then they had these navy colored, or they're not really not, a little bit lighter in navy. And this is what they look like. So I got those, and those were two dollars. I think this one here, I shouldn't have. I really didn't shouldn't have bought those, but anyway, I bought them anyway. Then there was this little pack for fifty cents, um, leaf beads. I mean, these are cute, 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 cute. For um, I'm hoping I can show it to you. See the leaf there? Isn't that cute? And it's a whole package of them, and I paid fifty cents. So that was that was a steal. And then I found this baggage here, it's a little bag like this, and in this bag I paid $3 for this bag, but it was well worth it. Um, there was two packs of brand new candle wicking yarn, and I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with the candle wicking unless I crochet something. 
but that was in the bag. And then there was these cute little stinking adorable piggies. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything, seen them like, these are so stinking cute. I don't know where she found, whoever found them. Aren't they cute? Look at that little pig. And it's a bag full. So I was tickled about that, getting that. Then there's uh, two, uh, two things of lace. And there's probably about three or four yards on it. It's the Michaels lace. And, um... So I really didn't get lucky on the lace, lace part. Then there's this Chanel stem, but it's kind of like a cream colored white. And that's what that looks like. Still in the package, brand new, never been used or opened. So that was the deal. And um, there was these uh, Doris Shower Favorites Wedding Gold Rings. Like that. I've never had any of those. Um pack of silver bells. I've got gold bells, but I don't have silver, so that was good. And this is priced at Walmart, $1.96. So, you know, that was just for one pack of bells. And this is, I got this for in this little Ziploc bag. Um, a thing of gold rickrack. Some gold beads. So, I got more gold beads. And all this stuff is falling. You're probably saying, where in the heck is this woman put... Trust me, I have a four-bedroom house. I have a lots and lots of closet space in my house. I mean, and I'm, I've got tall walls in, in some of my um, some of my, my rooms. So, trust me, I have somewhere to put this stuff. I'm not. It didn't look like I'm a hoarder either. When you when you I was, one day I'm going to show it to you. I've been doing a lot of organizing though because it's been a certain way I've been wanting to get it before I show it because I'm buying shelves for it so I am having to buy some things to um, house my crafts on and I'm having to condense things down but it's well worth it and there's another bag of beads these were two for a dollar but there's another thing of silver bells that was in that bag so I was really tickled about that then I got the the junk bag I wasn't too happy about this but it was only a dollar uh, and the only thing that really is in there that really, it might be to do something with pearler beads or something, but there's these weird looking, they look like crayons, but they're not crayons, and I don't know what they are, but they got all these little square looking beads. I, I don't know what they are, I've never, and it's different neon colors, not in my interest really, uh, I'll be honest with you, but they did have like a laser cut palm tree in there, so... I did get a little bit out of it. Um, they also had uh, so, some Halloween stuff in there. So this is what I, I thought was really cute. It's the mummy and the uh, Frankenstein. And it's got uh, some little card stuff that somebody started making. And it's got a little bit of card stock in there. But that's what the bag looked like. And I consider it a junk bag. But... Um, I shouldn't have ever grabbed it, but I did. And as you can see, stuff is falling everywhere. <laughs> oh, I just love buying stuff. I love to go out to thrift stores. Then they had this um, package of mask kit. The mask kit like this. And it was $2. And it's, it's made out of the... Well, as you can see, there's cardboard. See the cardboard here? So I was thinking maybe I could cut out... Some fancy looking mask and um, use my own, you know, like shabby chic looking mask with. So I've got the already got the cardboard that starts, you know, where your eyes are cut out in your nose. So really, all I would need to do is cut, you know, the shape that I want to cut, and I can make some pretty mask. And there's there's about two, four, six, eight, ten of these masks in here. So that's not too bad. So that is the dollar, dollar, I mean, um, the, uh, thrift store haul. Now, I went to Tuesday morning, and when I went to Tuesday morning, I d did not spend as much as I normally do. I've got paper out of my, you know what, so I really don't need it. But they had this jewelry stuff there, and, um, 
I hadn't seen this in a while, and I said, you know, since they've got it, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. It was $2.99 and $3.99. One is a bracelet. Um, one is chains. So I've got this little thing of chains here. There's three of them. And it was $3.99. Then they had, like, the pack of, um, three pack of this Cousin Design Beads. And these were $2.99, and you get three packs of the beads. And you get, like, the, the, the these beads here, the pearls, and then you get that. Like, a, a they're glass beaded pearls. So, I mean, glass beaded uh, beads. So, I got that pack. And then I got this pack, which is kind of like a lavender, purple, and a pink. And that was pretty. And you got three different kinds in that. And then I got this pack here, and this is like, um, you get the glass pearls, and this is like in black, uh, three different kinds, two different kinds of black looking beads. So I got that one, which was good, and that's all I bought as far as the jewelry goes. I did grab another one of these packs of cardstock. Um, it was $4.99, and it had the pastel colors. The uh, pink, the green, the baby blue, kind of like a gold color, uh, minty looking green, a sky blue, and then there's like a pastel yellow. So that's what I, I, I did end up grabbing one of those. Didn't need it, but I grabbed it anyway. And then um, I found this for $3.99. It's a, a bead um, thing to hold your beads in, bead organizer. So I got one of those. And they have one for $4.99, they have one for $3.99, but the $3.99 looked like it had more, um, more little inside spaces. So that's what I needed for, like, the beads that I don't have a whole lot of. And then I had, um, made a store, uh, online store haul. It's called FactoryDirect.com, no, FactoryDirectCrafts.com. Um, this is another place where I bought some beads and got some good deals on. Uh, you can get the three inch safety pins, a hundred pieces, and, uh, I can't even remember what I paid, but anyway, it's, I paid, if you bought fifty dollars and four cents worth of, um, merchandise, if you paid fifty dollars, you got free shipping. And what I was looking at, you know, I, I told you I wanted to buy some pony beads, and I bought some pony beads last week, as you guys saw the online haul. So they had a pack which was multicolor that looks like this. 2,300 beads total. And they're um, kind of like an opaque, but I like the colors. The colors were exactly the colors that I wanted to find. And it was 17 I think $17.99 for this piece little high on the pricey side but um to be honest with you i had searched around all over the place for these uh pony beads and the pricing for 2300 for 1799 was in fact a good deal so it was a good deal and um then i found the natural they had the natural colors which were the browns the greens i mean look at the greens like they have the olive greens the uh Champagne, brown colors, uh, orange, uh, rust colored, uh, burgundies. So they, it's not the childish looking, um, pony beads. So I bought that one. And because, you know, if they said you spent $50 worth, so I bought, uh, 100 safety pins that were three inches long. And this is what this looks like right here. You can buy them real big, and you go to FactoryDirectCrafts.com. Uh, this is where you can find these large safety pins. <clears throat> and then um, I bought 100 pieces of the 2.5 inch, and th this is what these look like. So the only thing, they didn't have the gold, they had silver. But I like, you know, it don't matter to me what color they are. And then um, to make it a $50 order so I could get my free shipping... I bought the um, Doris uh, Crystal Faceted 8 mil 8 millimeter crystal, crystal Faceted Beads, which I really had a lot of already. But I went ahead and got it because of the price. And I was trying to get my $50 order, but I didn't want to go way over $50. So by buying that one and then buying this, this was $1.99. 
It's a floral um, glass flowered pattern in the blues, and it was $1.99. And you get two packs, um, basically, it's two packs um, to this. And I paid um, $50.04 for that whole ordeal right there. And that is my haul, ladies. And as you can see, here's my damage for this week. I've got to stop going to this thrift store. It's getting me in trouble every week. I'm coming home with big, gigantic hauls, and then it takes me forever to put the stuff away. And then after I get it put away, um, it, I, it keeps me from crafting, you know, because I'm so busy buying, 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 and not crafting. So I've got to get this, I've got to stop buying. That's all I got to say. If I stop buying, then the crafting. But here's the um, the other suitcase and all the stuff here. And like I said, I had an online order, which was $50 and something. And then I bought all these beads here, which was $20-some dollars at um, um, Tuesday morning. And then I bought all that stuff right there from the thrift store. And you can see, I, it's so much fun, though. It's it's, it's the thrill, guys. It's, it's just... It's actually the fun and the thrill is is what it, what it is that I'm so addicted about. It's not what I'm buying. It's the thrill of finding the little treat treats, you know, that just things that you like. And it's like every week you go in there and you're like, oh, I wonder what I'm gonna find this week. Like I found the bad the badges thing one week and um, what was it? Oh, I found a, a, a leave a weave loom kit one week, which I didn't show. In a haul, I think I don't. I missed that. That yeah, that's the one I didn't think just showing in one of my hauls, but I found that I think a week before, and I just I can't help it. It's just it's it's an addicting store. Once you get started, you just can't stop. But I've got to either I've either got to stop going there shopping, or I'm going to have to start cleaning house again like I did this summer, and taking stuff and donating things. Because I have to make room for it. That's the problem. I have to find a spot in my closet for it. Which means if I had something in my closet that I've been holding on to. Didn't want to get rid of. It's just been sitting there. Been sitting there for years. I got to get it out and give it away. Because I got to make room for the yarn that I just bought. So that's that's my problem. That's the problem that I'm having. Um, but it's just too much fun. It's, it's fun. You, you know, you, you're not going to go to Michael's and buy this stuff, amount of stuff unless you get the um, grab bags. And they only come out but so, so much. And uh, so, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll give up the habit. But as long as I enjoy it and keep enjoying it, it's going to be hard to give it up. Well, everybody have a nice day. I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.